All right, Shalom. So this is a quick dream, you know, that my um, my woman had, you know, and I just by the spirit, you know, know and believe I need to share it, you know, to you uh, believers out here, all right, to the body. But yeah, this is Joel two and twenty. Eight. I'm actually starting at 27. It says, And ye shall know, and ye shall know that I am in the midst in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, your God, power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass, afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. All right. So, yeah, this is a quick dream. Call on my how about you now, Shai. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and share pretty much. Um, She said we was uh, living in. This, uh, me and her, that is, but we was living in this, um, apartment that would, you know, it, it was, it looked similar to this apartment, uh, that we used to live in, and, um, in Cali. And it, it was a mix of that and a mix of, like, the, the projects from, um, it looked like the projects from, the movie Belly, you know, when, the, you know, the little boy was talking to Nas, you know, ultimately, you know, it was like Caprini Green, for those that know about that, but anyway, and we had got this letter, all right, that's how I looked on the outside, but we had got this letter saying, uh, from the owner saying that we had to be out by Thursday, and I ended up calling, you know, we was reading it, you know, by the, by the dining room, okay, and, um, I end up um, calling this, you know, you know, this older Jake I knew. Uh, I guess he stayed in the building. I don't know, but you know, and uh, he ended up coming over, and he was like, "Yeah, they, um, you know, the, the owners they dirty. They just they just don't want nobody staying here, or something like that." And um, from that point, we went on just packing up, uh, start putting our stuff in these in these white bags. You know, um, I had one bag and she had like three bags. And then she said, I left, I ended up leaving. I went somewhere, she didn't know where I went. I just, I left. And uh, this uh, woman that she couldn't even recognize, like to, to the, you know, this woman she couldn't recognize to the point she didn't even know whether, whether or not she was an Israelite woman or not, because she couldn't see her face she couldn't see her face or something like that but her they end up uh leaving right she popped up on the scene upon me leaving and um they ended up leaving out and um she said it was like a bunch of you know like in the movies when it's like jakes or people just hanging around the stairs because it was like it was a project basically projects the projects she said it was you know, a bunch of people like, you know, when they be hanging around the stairs, like a bunch of junkies and stuff like that, you know, all Jake's. And, uh, you know, they was getting ready to come. They was coming down the stairs. They like, you know, like when they approach, I go to movies, like when they approach people like to uh, intimidate them, you know what I'm saying? Like, where are you going? That's basically what they did. Like kind of on the movie Juice, for those that seen the movie Juice, when, um, uh, the part when Q was trying to save Raheem from falling off the roof and they was fighting and then Ju uh, Q you know he ended up uh, afterwards he fell he ended up you know going back through you know the, the to the entrance how you, even, how you get on the roof and the, the crowd was standing there and they moved out the way it was kind of like that 
you know, but they was on some of this, this particular people, these particular people was trying to intimidate them. So they was coming down the stairs and they came up to them trying to intimidate them. A bunch of people hanging on the stairwells, stairwell and, you know, the stairs at the bottom. And they end up uh, coming up to him like, uh, you know, where y'all going or something like that. And she said, she said, oh, well, we just trying to leave. And she, and she said, it was, and it was a woman that said this to her, this fat, you know, she was like chunky, this chunky uh, Israelite, you know, you know, E. And she was uh, like dark skin. She had like a, you know, it was all like dirty looking Jake's, you know. And um, she had like, like perm, short, straight hair. With like a black jacket or something like that on with a brown like a brown dress and she had boots on with like some pink socks and she was like when she told her oh we just trying to leave the girl you know the the woman she was like okay oh okay okay and then they end up making a pathway for him so they end up going through you know her and the um my woman and the, the woman that was with her you know and uh well, she didn't say nothing. The woman that was with her the whole time, the female, or whatever, she she didn't say nothing the, the entire the, the entire dream. But they ended up uh, making a pathway for them. And when they walked past, you know, they you know got to the point where they was the crowd was basically behind them, you know. And she said everybody was dressing like you know black coat jackets and coat stuff like that. When they ended up getting past passed them to the point they was behind them. She said, the girl started yelling out, yeah, 144, 144,000, you know, stuff like that. You know, like, you know, as if she, she was saying it like she was, uh, like, you know, either she was like, like it was a gang or something like that, <clears throat> or in the sense to where like she knew something. You know, like she has some 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 info, some intel because you gonna understand why I said that. You know, say that in the, in the, at the end, which I'll say basically this whole dream from how I have a, how, how I've assessed it so far is is basically you know dealing with you know disguise. So it's having to be in disguise and um you know um pilgrimaging and stuff like that, man. And, and people, you know, how they have it out for us, and you know, it's being you know bigger than you know. This thing really being big, but pretty much when they got past them, she said that like 144, yeah, 144,000, and uh, it was just them two. Mind you, I'm still going wherever I'm at. And uh, as they was walking, it was an elderly old man that came up. You know, they was like crossing paths on the side of them. Like as they was leaving out, he was coming in, and it was like, and then the, the, the same crowd of the Jakes or whatever, and the girl, she's like, yeah, and this, this the priest. She's like, this, 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 this priest, uh, this priest, uh, Uriah. You know, this is priest Uriah. You know, and they just kept going. But and what ended up happening when they got past him, she said she couldn't tell what they was, what she, what he was wearing. You know, because they were trying to just hurry up and get out of, get out of Dodge. You know, because they were trying to like intimidate him basically or something like that. You know. And uh, some end up happening to where they had to go back in the building, you know, a woman and the, and the, the woman she was with. And pretty much they ended up uh, going back in the building. And she said when they got in the building, you know, they went around and go back in the building. She's like, it was just cement, ground, walls, everything was cement, concrete, you know, everything was concrete, you know, except the doors. It was spray paint all over the doors, like real dirty project, you know, lime green spray paint tags and you know red spray paint tags like there's on everything you couldn't even you know it was crazy and this is remind me of a dirty temple okay but nonetheless um and the stairwells was outside by the way it was like an outside motel so to where when you come outside your door you basically outside you know and that's how they was you know, it was the, the Jakes that was sitting there, you know, when they came out the first time, they was like sitting underneath the stairwell. It, it looked like Cabrini Greens, you know what I'm saying? Like how you could be behind stair, stairs, you know what I'm saying? The stairs probably come down into the grass. That's how I envisioned it, you know? But um, pretty much when they ended up going back in, she ended up seeing like exactly how it looked on the inside. Now, of this building. The building, the, the, the apartment we were specifically staying in had got broken into, but nobody knew who was even living there. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, we was, it was, like, real low-key. It was, like, all disguised. And this Jake ended up coming out and they ended up playing it off. Just kept walking past because where the apartment was at, it was on the end to where nobody was on the other side of it. So, you know, it was, like, the last one on, on the end to where they could just keep walking past, I guess, through the stairwell, stairwell on that side and coming back out the building. But basically, he ended up coming out of the building and they played it off because no one knew he lived there. So she didn't want, they didn't want to give it away, so they just walked past as it had was it had got broken into or whatever. And um, pretty much, you know, they just walked past. And uh, <clears throat> she was going there to get, you know, this money or something, right? And uh, long story short, I'm going to say this, 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 this detail too. Uh, basically, no one knew, like, that we was living there which is what like the jakes that was approached that approached them like that they um it was like when jakes when somebody knew when the projects pop up you know but we was living there the whole time they just didn't know and another detail too with the with the the, the dream with the apartment all that looked like that on the outside the pro like the projects on the outside that you know you leave out your crib it looked like that straight paint everywhere but on the inside it was like a beautiful apartment <laughs> To where it looked like for those that may have seen that seen the movie uh assassination games you know with uh john claude van damme okay like how his he lived in like this rural rural urban just like just you know looking place but on the inside he had it like you know it was like luxury like you know basically decked out and uh, I'm not going to assess it or break this dream down. I'm just sharing it, and I'll probably come back and do it, you know, um, in, a, in another video. But long story short, that's what they she, they went back into the building for. But I had already dried the money or whatever, you know. And they ended up coming back out. And as they was coming back out, then it was the, they ended up getting on this. That's when, they met, that's when she met back up with me, you know, her and the woman. They ended up, getting, they, they ended up uh, meeting up on me meeting up with me and uh they end up getting on this she didn't know if it was a plane or a bus and she couldn't tell what it was but we just she just just the dream jumped and we ended up on that and i was sitting on uh one side of her the females on the other side of her on the right hand side of her and then you know the brother mahar he was on the right side of her <clears throat> you know and uh pretty much um It was Jake's coming through the aisle, right? And she said she couldn't tell if it was a bus or a plane. I believe it to be a chariot. It might not have been a chariot. It probably was like a way, probably like a, you know, some Greyhound type shit. We had to like get out of Dodge or whatever. I don't know, you know, but as far as, as, far as assessing it so far, even though I say I'm not going to assess it in this, you know, it could be either or, but I think it possibly could have been the other thing, but you know, like a escape, you know, but pretty much Jake's was coming past, but it's just interesting, you know, as I say, the rest of this, this elder Jake was coming past this woman, this, you know, elder Eve woman, she had the long, she said she was dressed in, um, uh, like the old school, long black leather, pleather, j vintage looking jackets that, you know, Jake wear, you know, with the, like the kind of, with the fur on the inside a little bit, you know, and the belt basically. And then she had, you know, like a maroon headband on, you know, and uh, no fro or none of her hair was permanently slipped back. But I, she said, I've been, I ended up asking her, do uh, do you know anybody from GMS that's here? You know, and she was like, no, nah, nobody from GMS is here. Um, she was like, and if you, she like, but if you, and if you find somebody, they ain't gonna let you stay long. And then she said, I made a look or we both made a look or something like that, you know, like, you know, a face on, huh? Or whatever. And then it was a young Eve behind her, younger Eve behind her. She had pants on, you know, with these so called, she had like box braids or whatever. And, with a point, and it was in a ponytail. She had books in her hand. And uh, in the first Eve, the first elder Eve, she had a long, big, super, one of the big portfolio uh, files, like the orange portfolio cases, uh, folders. And her hand was super big, super big, uh, 
por portfolio envelope, right? With the little metal clips that you can push through and then fold them down to where it stays. She had one of those. But then, then I said that to her. And then she ended up uh, walking past and sat inside of her seat. And then the Eve behind her, <clears throat> box braids, pants, little spaghetti string shirt, tank top with the books in her hand. She, she ended up saying like, oh, she's like, oh, you, uh, she's like, oh, what, she's like, what you GMS? What you from GMS or something like that? And then I was like, nah. I was like, but I'm, I'm just looking for somebody that is. And then she was like, oh, okay, okay. And then she was, and then she said, uh, after that, I just looked down at my phone or whatever. <clears throat> and she was like, oh, what? She was like, she was like, so what? You a, you a, you a journalist or something? And then the woman said she like nothing, but uh, like tapped me on my shoulder. She like hit me or whatever. It's like what is she talking about? And then I was like, I was like kinda, but nah. And I was like I'm just looking for somebody at GMS. And she was like, oh okay. And then that's basically what happened. You know what I'm saying? And it, it woke up. So I woke. Well, she woke up slightly. But pretty much. Um, to me, it just sounds like a big, you know, one big disguise. I don't know, you brothers and sisters take for what <clears throat> you can get out of it. Um, the Jake that came over, the elder Jake too, he, you know, he kind of looks, he said he kind of, you know, he kind of had gray hair, gray, gray, gray uh, black. He was turning gray, basically, you know what I'm saying? Kind of look like, uh, not exactly, but kind of like Pastor Dow. Those that's familiar with Pastor Dow, the nigga Pastor Dow. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, man. So, uh, you know, just wanted to share that by the spirit, you know, whatever, whatever that could mean, you know, maybe, you know, it's just a big disguise. It's, it, you know, it, it, it's, that's how it seems, you know, keeping a low profile, you know, this thing big, big, man, like, you know, people after us, whatever, you know, you got to keep a low profile. But yeah, so with that, you know. I also took the uh, journalist part to mean possibly, you know, a prophet. And then what she meant by two, because I asked her what she meant by they ain't going to let me stay. She was talking about the people in the building. You know what I'm saying? Like either the owners or that group. You know, like, it. you know, it was an issue with being, you know, who we are. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Then with the truth anyway, call up like how about me, how shy, how. Well, how could that? Tonight's time, shall I walk?